All right, guys. This is cheese. Update. Update on my bike. My Canyon Exceed CF7 carbon fiber mountain bike, and my Fiatboard electric scooter. I uh, had a plan. I had planned both on for my Canyon bike and electric scooter to upgrade. But I can't do anything right now. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for stimulus checks to come. It's been five freaking months. Five months is a long time. Very, very, very long time. Uh, because I'm trying to upgrade my mountain bike. Uh, I'm... When, once I get the money, I will be replacing the rear cassette, the whole thing, the cassette and the rear hub. Currently, that's a stock factory Shimano MT400 hub with a SRAM, the, the base level, uh, I don't remember the model, uh, the cassette. And it's got SRAM NX chain. All that will be replaced. The chain, cassette, hub, uh, the pedals, and the uh, eventually the fork. Uh, and that will be it. And the carbon fiber bottle cage. Um, and I'm going to be leaving this alone. This is a SRAM NX rear derailleur. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this with SRAM XX1, the top of the line, XX1 cassette, which cost around $450 to $500 just for the cassette alone. Uh, I will be getting SRAM X01 hub for both rear and front and I will be getting replacing this with uh, Campanolo super record 12 speed hollow design chain which is the top of the line from Campanolo with 114 link and that Jesus told me that it will fit it will work even though it's considerably shorter than this I believe this is a 126 link because it's a mountain bike with a big chain ring in the back uh, but that but it will work and I'll be doing it myself basically I'll be rebuilding the rear wheel uh, using the existing rim with spokes and tire and I'll be building the wheel myself with the new parts uh, that will cost around over thousand dollars about eleven hundred dollars for for hub set cassette chain will be over thousand dollars and I'll be replacing this with uh, Luke Kio 2 pedals. I have the uh, cycling shoes for, for, the, for the cleats, for, for the, uh, those special pedals. So I'll be putting that on. And later down the road, I will be replace, replacing this Rock Shocks. It's more of intermediate level. Uh, I'll be replacing that with Rock Shocks seed fork, which is a high performance, lighter, better, better performance fork. And that one cost around $650, $700. But that will be the, the last stage. Um, and I will be replacing, no, not replacing, I will be uh, I will be modifying the battery for this scooter because it's so slow because it's got babies baby 
not only does it have a baby controllers, it's got baby batteries. And I have a video. I already made a video on, on tutorial up for plan, strategy, engineering on building, modifying the battery for this slow scooter. It's 55 minutes long. But I couldn't I couldn't upload the video. I couldn't even make the video because I ran out of space. I don't have space to to compile, to make, to uh, encode the video for me to upload. I can't do anything about it. I, I only have, I, there's no space left in my phone. So, because I don't have money to do anything, because I don't have money, I can't do anything at all. I will be modifying the battery for this thing. Jesus showed me, guide, guided me every step of the way what I will be doing and how to build the battery. How to build, rebuild it from the existing battery pack without replacing it. Uh, so that this scooter becomes a uh, super scooter. It will be faster. It will be fast as car. Uh, so I can't do anything. When I get the money, when the stimulus checks come, I won't be able to do all the upgrade at once because there's not enough money. Because I'm five months behind on shed rent. So by the time I pay that, and pay other few other things and 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 get the batteries for this I won't have money to upgrade to upgrade any major ones for my mountain bike like the uh, cassette hub set chain uh, well cassette and hub set because those two are very expensive uh, I will have I will be able to just replace the chain for now when I get the money I will be able to get the Campanolo chain there because that chain is no good. It's poorly made, poorly designed and engineered. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for the money to come. The government decide to get stingy. You know, uh, they, they could have uh, uh, deployed, they could have dispatched the uh, money five, four months ago at the latest, four months ago, around May, no, around April, yeah, in, around May, but they didn't, because they're so stingy. The governor, government people, the politicians, they're money hungry. They just want to pocket money for themselves and fund all the things that they want to support or their or they were or their bosses want them to do because they follow their bosses order the politicians are not they're not their own managers they have their bosses in case if you didn't know and you don't want to know the top of the chain it's scary stuff but the politicians are basically like housemates housemates for for their owners. So they have to follow the agenda. Uh, the new world order. So. They're going to. They're trying to spend money on all the things. Are, that are bad. For the for the humanity. Uh, and have no money left. For, for the poor people. People of the citizen. It's really bad. They're stingy. And they're printing all this money. It's not paid for. The stimulus packages that they're trying to pass are not even paid for. All that is borrowed money. They borrowed it from themselves by printing money out of thin air. Okay? At least they need to give us poor people the chance to Get some money to prepare because trouble is coming ahead. Financial trouble. The dollar collapse. 
troubles are coming and people need money to get things that they need to get now to prepare. So I'm waiting for the stimulus check. I don't know when it's going to come. But if they don't come anytime soon, I won't even have money to buy uh, insulation for my shed. I will have to ask my parents for money. I will have to ask them for help. Oh man. By the way, this mountain bike uh, has been awesome. I ride about 20 miles every time I ride it, every other day. And it's been, what, five months? And it hasn't got a one single flat on my tires. No flat. It hasn't even really punctured because I didn't see the, see the mark. Uh, the punctured mark. And the air doesn't skip, it air, air doesn't leak. The pressure stays high. Uh, I only lose pressure by about 7 to 8 PSI after one over one month of riding. So basically I reinflate the tires uh, once, once a month or once every one and a half month. And that is dang impressive. Tubeless tires are awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just providing updates here. Once I get the money, I will be able to buy all the things I need so that I can make video, so I can process the video and upload it to YouTube. I can't do anything right now. All right, guys. Uh, as soon as something comes up, money comes then i will be i will provide update on the projects for upgrading my mountain bike and my electric scooter all right